subscribe for more Roblox videos. And use star code Aquila when buying Robux or Premium. Follow me on Roblox. And these are my social media accounts. Enjoy the video! Hi everyone! It's Akila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today I am dressed as a pumpkin for a little Halloween spirit because can you believe that it's already October? Also, for the spirit of Halloween, I decided that we should do some Halloween Bloxburg bill tax. And these just aren't any bill tax, these are cake bill tax. So I got these ideas from Froggy Plays on Twitter. He has amazing Bloxburg bill tax, so I'll link his account in my description box. And with that being said, let's get started. Okay guys, so let's get started with our first bill tack, and this is the pumpkin themed cake. And as you guys can see, the cake is decorated with the miniature pumpkins from last year's update. So if you have some saved in your inventory, great. If not, we can still make it work. So we're gonna start off by going to the build category and the basic shapes. And we're gonna take the vertical cylinder and place it right on the center of the table. We're also gonna need the beveled vertical cylinder as well so i'll just place that right there for now and it looks like the cake is on a table but we also have a cake stand so if we go into the decorate category decorations and type in cake stand or just cake we have this right here and this thing can also be resized so let's go ahead and see how big we can actually make this Okay, so that's as big as it goes. I think that's pretty good. We can also make it taller or shorter. I'm just gonna keep it around this size. And now let's start building the actual cake. So let's take this, put it on top, and then we're gonna scale it down. So let's go back to the grid size and make it the smallest possible. So let's lower the height, change the width of it as well. Um, I think this is a pretty good decent size i don't know how tall i actually want it uh let's let's do this size this is gonna be a ginormous cake and now i'm gonna change the grid size again and put the beveled cylinder right on top and once again we're gonna just scale it down this is going to be the frost scene or the icing I'm gonna center this because I swear I have OCD or something. It's really bothering me. Okay, looks good. So basically, we're just gonna repeat this process. Um, we can just honestly put that right on top and then move this, change the grid size, make this cake a bit smaller because this is a tier cake. Honestly, you can make as many layers as you want. One thing I am not going to do is deal with the standard rods. I think that's what they're called. So if we go in the build category and go to structural, yeah, we have these rods and I cannot stand using these. If you look closely at the picture, it looks like there's rods going all around the cake. And yeah, I don't have the time for that. It's a very tedious process and it's just not for me. So no. So like I said, I'm not doing that part, but feel free to do whatever you'd like. Um, I also just think it looks a bit cleaner without the rods. Wait, I'm also having another idea. Okay, so what if we half the size of this? I might redo this whole thing. Um, we'll undo because I might not like this. But I was thinking about what if we make it like this size and then we put this in the center and then let's duplicate that and then move this and this could just be one cake maybe so what if we made this smaller and then sorry i literally just took everything apart because you never know this could work and now let's put this on top and that could be considered like one cake you know what i mean and then if we do this and make it smaller then take the beveled one again oh wait first of all Let's duplicate this so we can save some time. <laughs> and then and then put the beveled one on top. So this is like kind of replacing the rods that we have. I mean, obviously with the rods, it's gonna be a bit skinnier. So the cake isn't so 
chunky. But, I mean, this also works too. This is a real chunky cake. Actually, okay, let's downsize it one more time. So let's resize, make it as small as it can get, and then do this. See, that doesn't actually look bad. Okay, um, wait, why did I do that? Oh, I know why I did that. Okay, so now let's resize this one last time. And this is gonna be our smallest cake on the top. We can actually delete this part and just uh, duplicate it. And there we go. So that was my idea. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. And then we can color it. Wait, let's actually color this first. So chocolate, 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 chocolate. And then this is the icing. See, that doesn't look half bad. But let's also go ahead and just do the original plan as well. So I'm just gonna duplicate this cake. There we go. And delete that and then the original plan was just supposed to be like this and then we downsize it see this is what i mean it's super just like customizable you don't have to do everything the exact same and who said we can't have two cakes <laughs> my diet just kidding just kidding love your body you don't have to go on that diet you were thinking about unless that's what you want to do then go for it but don't do anything harmful to your body, you know what I mean? Why am I becoming a motivational speaker throughout this video? Okay, there we go. Um, now we have to just do the same thing. So this is a very repetitive process. I mean, we can make it taller. Should we make it taller? I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. Yeah, I think we should make the cake a bit taller um on each so let's take this apart and then that should be good and then this one yeah those are similar in height i think now let's stack everything back together this cake is naked hold on that looks so awful it's it's this one this one needs to be i think i made them too similar in size so it just looks nasty so put that on top that's gonna be our smallest layer and then we're gonna have to downsize the middle one too oh that looks better okay 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 oh see that looks better this is what we were looking for that's the ticket okay now that see this looks good this looks good this looks like stacked oreos this, this is cute. This is real cute. I got this mini pumpkin out of my inventory. Uh, that's honestly the only miniature pumpkin I have besides um, these, which are the tabletop pumpkins because last year I didn't use them. So if we go back and look at Froggy's picture, he did put the tabletop pumpkins on top, but that means his cake must be ginormous because... Fitting all three of these pumpkins on top, we are gonna need a bigger layer. This is just too much going on. I honestly wish I had more of these, but what if we put that on top of the cake? That's not horrible. Yeah, let's keep that one on top and this one could just be a naked cake because um, I wasn't even planning on making this one. It was originally just supposed to be this cake. So we are done with our first build hacks. Honestly, honestly, I'm getting rid of this one. I guess we know who the favorite is. No, I didn't delete the cake. I just cleared off some space because now we're gonna make another cake. Yay! We're gonna be making a cat cake. Yes, you heard that right. A cat cake so let's go back into decorations 
do the same thing. We have our cake stand. We're gonna go into build, basic shapes. This time we're gonna take the beveled vertical cylinder, put it right up there, resize this, and put the cylinder on top. Now we're gonna make this a bit smaller. I think that this cake is very, very cute. I don't mind using the rods for this one, but for the other one, that would have just taken way too long. So let's go into structural item, structure, structural. Take the small round rod and we're going to make a mouth. And we're also gonna make whiskers. So to make the whiskers stay up straight, Let's duplicate this really quickly. All right, look, 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 hear me out, hear me out. We just wanted to make sure that the whiskers are gonna be leveled properly. So let's go back over here and we're going to, maybe I should have done the eyes first. I don't know, we'll make it work. So like this, like this and like that. Oh my gosh, wait, this is gonna be so cute. Okay, so so just wanna make sure that we do the same height. <gasps> wait, I did that. Okay, let's delete and delete. This is gonna be so cute. But shouldn't it have a nose too? Froggy didn't give it a nose, but let's give it a nose. Maybe this isn't gonna give what it's supposed to give. Wait, maybe. All right, so now we have to duplicate this and we're gonna make the eyes. Okay, I had to do a little bit of surgery, but I think it looks good. <laughs> so uh, let's take this round rod once again and make the mouth. Okay, I had to do a lot of work to this. Um, <laughs> I had to do a lot of work to this um, cake. And I'm afraid to show you <laughs> what it looks like. I'm really scared because you guys are gonna bully me in the comments. But I mean, okay, give me my credit where credit is due. I tried. All right, three, two, one. <laughs> Next. Okay, the last cake we're gonna make, I think it's only fitting if we do the pumpkin one, considering I'm dressed up as a pumpkin. So let's do the same thing we've been doing. This one looks so cute. Oh my gosh, okay. Once again, I'm gonna put my own little spin on this cake. Okay, so now we have to make the 
eyes. Okay, there we go. Got that. And we're gonna have to make it a little tall. Let's just test it out. I think we're gonna have to make it taller than this. Eye number two. And then the nose. So this is pretty similar to the, um, the cat build. Okay, bear with me because I could not get this part right. And this is what we ended up with. And these are all of the cake hacks for this video. They're actually a pretty decent size. The cat one's definitely gonna give me nightmares. And that's gonna be it for this video. Once again, a big thank you to Froggy Plays on Twitter. And if you guys enjoyed this video, do not forget to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!